Hi, I'm Nancy Jutton. I'm the Get Known to Get Paid Mentor. I'm based in Bellingham, Washington, and I serve clients around the world who want to get known and get paid. And I'm also the co-founder of the Life Goes On Roadmap System for Personal Financial Information Organization. And I'll tell you a little bit more about me in just a minute. But what we're here to talk about today is marketing and promoting your business during COVID-19. I know this is a really touchy area, on the one hand, the world has changed on a dime. There's so much somber news every single day, and it's really hard to know what the right way is to market your business and promote your business when so many people are suffering. And if you're an author, an expert, a content provider, an online marketer, or someone who needs to pivot quickly, today's training is going to hopefully give you some powerful ideas about how you can take advantage of this opportunity to really make a big difference with your gifts and talents. So I'm going to share my screen so I can share some slides with you as we move along. So just bear with me as I bring them up and we will get this party started. Let's see. Slideshow from the beginning. Okay. I'm just trying to bring it up to the very to the very beginning here. There we go. All right. We're talking about marketing and promoting your business during the COVID-19 pandemic, especially if you're an expert author, speaker, or professional service provider. So what is marketing really? It's about solving urgent problems that need answers right now. It's about being indispensable right now. Consider that question. How can you make yourself indispensable? Not optional, but indispensable. How best can you serve now more than ever? That's a really important question because right about now, there are business owners that are hanging in the balance. We haven't been able to go to the grocery store. We have, excuse me, we've been able to go to the grocery store and the pharmacy, but we haven't really been able to do much else. And a lot of people around the country have a whole new set of expectations about what they need versus what they want. It's your task as a business owner to consider how you can make yourself the product, service, or idea that your ideal clients must have instead of would like to have. And that may require some new thinking on your part, and that's really what we're here to talk about today. So let's talk about the elephant in the room for a moment. You might be feeling a bit raw because of all the news that we've been tending to. This is a time to call on your resilience and to reframe challenges into opportunities. It may be a time for you to reinvent. Reflect on what you've done in the past what you've always wanted to do but never got around to doing, and what you could do to make the next stage of your life and work your finest hour. It may be time to revisit messaging for relevance or reposition your offers to be more urgent right now than they've ever been before. You might be wondering what kinds of offers can you offer? And it's so important to make your offers remarkable by their generosity, especially at a time when cash is in short supply. It may be a time to repackage offers that you've extended in the past to serve in today's new reality. Please check your tone of voice and approach so that it's right for today. You don't want to put lipstick on a pig and see that it will work as well as it's done before because what we're dealing with right now is a whole new set of circumstances that many of us have never seen before. Consider offering a good response to real problems that need solutions now and rise above in service. And if I had a big thought for you is that if you could just resolve to raise your voice and make your best impact, taking these R words into consideration, I think you'll find yourself in a good mindset to be open to what it is that I'm gonna be talking about today. 
And I also want to be very compassionate and empathetic and saying, again, if you are feeling very raw about what's going on in the world right now, honor that. Journal about it. And if it doesn't feel right to make an offer or to make a sale, what does feel right to you? Doing nothing is sometimes a good option. And if you are feeling deeply emotional about what's happened and you can't see clearly, and I know I've heard from so many people these last few weeks who have felt that way, give yourself some grace. If you need to have the ugly cry, have the ugly cry. But know that oftentimes after there is a breakdown, there will be a breakthrough and you will see ideas through new filters that can give you a way forward that you might be wanting to wave the flag about and serve in a higher and deeper way. So I hope that this helps you reframe your mindset so that you can be open to what it is that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. During today's webinar, you're going to discover that there are lots of ways you can raise your voice and make your impact virtually to keep your business visible and of service in the best and the most challenging of times. You're going to be guided step by step to use at least one virtual platform to your advantage, even if the idea of using technology is out of your comfort zone right now. You're gonna get inspired to listen carefully for new ways to contribute and serve and possibly create new solutions to solve real problems that can benefit from your expertise or products right now. And I'm going to invite you to dig deep to consider the kinds of offers you can make that feel aligned and good without resorting to false urgency, what I call ick factor, or other predatory efforts. You know what these things are as soon as you face them. It has you running in the opposite direction instead of leaning in and wanting to know more. If you see that your index finger is hitting delete, 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 don't be so quick to delete, but ask yourself, why are you deleting? What is this about that invitation or message that is so repelling that you can't stop yourself from hitting delete? And can you do the opposite? Because when you are a student of the offer, a student of the invitation, you will see brilliant examples coming forward in generosity and service that absolutely reflect well on the brand and reputation of the expert who is stepping forward, and you will see the opposite. You get to decide which example you want to model and lean in and put your own thumbprint on it so that you can show up in service and make your impact in your own best way. I'm also going to invite you to brainstorm ways you can pivot get your message out in a bigger way and show up that will be remembered long after the current crisis has passed and to forever reflect well on your brand reputation and business. I'm a big movie fan and there's a movie called Dodgeball, which is sort of a camp on, it's a funny movie about teamwork and it's, it's, it's a good movie to watch right about now because it'll bring about a lot of laughs. But one of the great quotes from this movie is, dodgeball doesn't create character, it reveals character. And so when you find yourself in the clutch moments and life is really difficult and business is harder than you ever thought it was going to be, how you do anything is how you do everything. So consider what character you're going to reveal during this time because as you show up in service, people will notice and when times shift, they're gonna remember you well or the alternative and you get to drive that regardless of the results that happen in your shopping cart or your catch register today. So a little bit about me. I started my business in 2001 with a desire to earn enough money to buy better groceries and pretty soon I was too busy to cook. I started a public relations agency and my job it was to help people get seen, heard, and celebrated in the media that mattered for their message. But you know what? When the Great um, Recession happened, my public relations agency fell on very hard times, and we had just bought a brand new house, and we couldn't sell the one that we left, and all of a sudden we didn't have enough money to pay the mortgage. And so 
a friend dared me to write a book called Bye Bye Boring Bio to help people describe what they do and how they do it so that they can attract clients quickly. I took her up on the dare. I got internet famous for this book and that book actually helped me save my bacon at the precise time that I needed to bring it home. And I subsequently built a multiple six-figure business based on helping people to say bye-bye to their boring bio, how to get known and get paid for their winning ways. And very recently, when life hit the fan for me and everything derailed, I did another pivot where I created a system to help people get their acts together before life hit the bump, hits a bump in the road. And now we're serving people around the country during Corona times to help people get that mission accomplished. So my own journey is one of coming back from the ashes of a challenging situation and learning to pivot quickly so that I could be of contribution. I've got a pattern of creating products and services of lasting value that seem to come in handy at the clutch moments. And my intention for you today during this webinar is that you will get so much value beyond what you were expecting that you will feel very blessed by our time together. So that's enough about me. Let's talk about how important it is to raise your voice virtually. I just read Business Week last week and it was talking about how Zoom, the company that allows us to video conference the, where I'm coming to you now, their market capitalization has escalated dramatically in the last couple of weeks beyond their expectations. There's one company that is certainly thriving in a difficult time. But the more practical thing here is you can use Zoom today to raise your voice and make your impact and you don't even have to spend a dime. You can go to zoom.us, you can get a free account and you can deliver content for 40 minutes for free with your family, with your colleagues, with your co-collaborators, with a whole audience of people at North Carolina Community College, with your whole tribe on Facebook, and you can do it right away. Now chances are, since the pandemic has been in place for a few weeks, you've already learned. But if you're a little bit late to the party, here's some great news. I did a short video of about 15 minutes where I explained step by step how to use Zoom to raise your voice and make your impact. The actual situation was that I am a member of Toastmasters, which is a public speaking club, and we meet regularly in person up until the coronavirus hit. We needed to get together within days so that we can continue our business practicing our masterful public speaking. Nobody in the club knew how to do it. And so I took the initiative and said, let me show you how easy this can be. And on a Wednesday, I delivered this training to the president of the Toastmasters organization. And by Friday, the entire Toastmasters club was like a Brady Bunch collection on the screen. And everyone was able to join us live and continue like nothing different had happened. So if you wanna have that same outcome, all you have to do is copy, take a screen capture of the link you see on your screen and go there when we're done today and you will be able to be guided to learn how to use Zoom so that you can broadcast your brilliance across the street, around the country, or around the world. How brilliant is that? Okay, there's another platform that you can use to raise your voice and make your impact and it's called BeLive.TV. You've probably heard about Facebook Live, and for many people, that means that you pick up your phone and you go to Facebook, and then as if you were going to make a post on Facebook, there's a little icon that looks like a camera, and it says go live, and you can actually click on that and deliver a, a, a a presentation or a message live into your phone from your Facebook page. That's a very casual and effective way to do it. But BeLive.TV is a way to up your game and look more professional at hello. And you can go to BeLive.TV and take it for a test drive for a couple of weeks for free and see how easy it is. But what I love about it 
is I can look right into my camera from my computer screen. I can have a professional background behind me. I can also customize captions on the screen. I can bring a guest to come with me on the show and do an interview with someone across the country. It's so versatile and it's so powerful. And you can broadcast from a Facebook page, from a Facebook group, or even from YouTube. So here again, in my attempt to exceed your expectations, there's a link to a YouTube training that I did on how to use BeLive TV and why I love it and why I recommend it. And I hope that you will take a screenshot of that link and pay attention after we're done here today because just the other day, someone from East India interviewed me as a result of having, um, he had been reading my blog posts and watching my videos over the last several years and he reached out and he told me that I was one of the reasons that he advanced in the International Toastmasters competition and would I please be a guest on his Project Superhero YouTube channel. And what do you know, now I have fans and friends and followers that are finding me in Bellingham, Washington, all the way from East India. The world really can get to be much smaller place when you take advantage of these virtual platforms to raise your voice and make your impact. And I hope that you are inspired to do that. All right, next slide. So what are you noticing right now? What new problems are your clients and prospects complaining about that need solutions? If you are someone who pays attention to LinkedIn, a professional network, or Facebook, you can read the comments to feel at a visceral level the aches and pains that business owners are feeling, that authors, experts, and speakers are feeling. Some of them are saying, I always do live events, and now for the foreseeable future, I can't do a live event. What do I do instead? Speakers may be saying, All of my gigs are canceled. What am I going to do to turn on a dime and bring in the cash? So many complaints are coming forth. You know, people are saying, I don't know how to access funds that are being provided by the government. Can someone please help me? When you see, hear, and appreciate the genuine, urgent concerns that are being voiced on the various channels where you engage regularly, you're gonna identify opportunities where you may have some magic to bring to help solve the problem. So what themes keep coming up and where and how can you pivot to make your best impact now more than ever? Are clients struggling to go from in-person to online? Is there something you can do to help them? One of the things I've heard, and I'm gonna quote the people who said this, Jesse, Jesse, what's his name? Jesse Korn and Charlotte Jacobs said, our clients, how can you compel clients to stay and pay instead of cancel and run? Stay and pay versus cancel and run. That means finding a way to demonstrate the value that you bring as an urgent, important thing. I'm on an interview, dear. Uh, this is what happens when you're sheltering in place. You have people coming and going, including the dog and the husband announcing that lunch is here. Isn't that hysterical? What do we do? We bend and we sway. What new problems are emerging that you can find a way to fill in perfect timing? Give these things some thought and write down what ideas come forth for you because there may be the pearl of an idea that will make the difference for your clients and make the difference for you too. So what are some solutions that come to mind right away that might get your ideas flowing? One is you could start a Facebook group to teach clients how to get online. You could teach an online course to teach people how to go online. Since there's so much scarcity mindset going on right now, could you teach about mindset and the importance of investing in success even in dark times? When speaking gigs are canceled, can you offer to speak virtually instead? 
just a couple of weeks ago, I was scheduled to be on a podcast. And we had done all the preparation and I was all scheduled and ready to go. And the morning of the podcast, the host called and said, because of the shelter in place order, we weren't going to be able to proceed because the producer was not allowed to come into the studio. And I said, well, great. I'll happily reschedule when you're able to do it. And then I just said, well, what about, what about if you and I do this interview using a different platform? And she said, I really don't know any other platform. I rely on the producer to do all of that. And I just reached out and said, I would be more than happy to teach you how to use Zoom for interviews or how to use BeLive.TV for interviews because that gives you the power to continue your show whether we're having a pandemic or not. Would that be helpful to you? And she was astounded that I would be so generous. But I thought to myself, I could really help her continue sharing her message in a consistent way regardless of the shelter in place order. And that could really add value. And you know what? She's taken me up on it. And she's so appreciative. And now not only was I a great guest on her show, but we've launched a friendship and a relationship that who knows where it will go. Because it's never wrong to be generous, especially when you see a way to help someone during a challenging time that could be a game changer for them. So you know what your gut will tell you when offers land or when they don't. So you might be thinking about how deep you can go to consider the kinds of offers you can make that feel aligned and good without resorting to false urgency, ick factor, or other predatory efforts. I'll share with you one of the ideas that I think has ick factor. It's when gurus promote online that they just had the most successful pivot of their career and created the most profitable event ever virtually, instead of leading with, I just had the good fortune to invite the most amazing group of entrepreneurs into the fold so that I can support, champion, and guide them to achieve brilliant success. I think we need to put the order in the proper priority. Don't boast about how successful you are right now. Boast about how you get to help a lot of people accomplish an amazing, urgent objective with your expertise. Because right now, I think we have to be sensitive to this whole issue of boasting about prosperity, especially at a time when so many people are suffering so desperately in the opposite direction. If you're wondering if it's time to start making offers, if it feels like a miss, it probably is a miss. It's never wrong to be generous and of service. And when you show up in these ways, it always gets rewarded over time. So I say show up in service. Can you teach your clients to use a new technology like Zoom or BeLive TV as I've modeled for you today? Can you offer to host a Zoom connection call with your network and introduce new people who could possibly do business and support each other during a challenging time? Could you accept an invitation to a Zoom connection call to see who you can meet today to serve support and add value while dealing with a, a good outcome to cure any social isolation you might be feeling? Just last week, I took I received a number of invitations to connect, do virtual networking, and I'm a bit of an introvert, but I thought, you know what? I am feeling a bit isolated. I am going to say yes to some of these invitations. And it turned out that when I had the opportunity to speak up, there were people on the call who weren't yet familiar with what it is that I do, especially with regard to Life Goes On Roadmap. And during the chat on the right-hand side of the screen, people sent private messages and said, I'd really like to talk to you about what Life Goes On Roadmap is. I think I have an opportunity that could bring it to a much wider audience. Can we talk about it? You never really know what beautiful connections will show up if you just show up and say yes. There could be a new collaboration just one screen away that could change the game for you and for them. So be open to those kinds of invitations. Here's an example from my husband, Steve, who's a, the founder of Jutton Personal Financial Planning. 
right now the financial markets have had quite a bit of drama and a lot of investors have been very concerned about what that means to them and their retirement plans. And he and two of his certified financial planner professionals decided to launch a YouTube channel to answer commonly asked questions about what's going on in the market today and how specifically they can address those questions to bring calm in the center of the storm. What's beautiful about these videos is they're only 20 minutes in length. They have three certified financial planners sharing their expertise and answering commonly asked questions in an educational manner. If you, again, go to the YouTube link that you see on your screen, you can read the notes below the video that say, these are the questions that are being answered in today's video. And if there's more you'd like to learn, here's how you can make the next step. Always put comments below the video so you let the viewer know what the wow is that's waiting for them and what next step they can take so they can get to know you. And if that's having a get acquainted session to help manage their investments during a challenging time, that could be a beautiful outcome. So don't get all tripped up about technology and making it perfect. Here are three people. One of them works in, lives in Portugal. One of them lives in Seattle and the other one lives in Bellingham. They don't get fancy about it. They just decided to take imperfect action and show up in service and hundreds of views have already been recorded to these videos and now people are sending them compliments. That's exactly the message I needed to receive. You gave me calm in the storm. I'm so glad we're working together. Here's another question that I have and what do you know new opportunities are presenting for them to have the opportunity to invite new folks to the fold. So if speaking on a camera is something that's exciting to you. Don't feel like you have to go glamorous to make it happen. Just be of service and see what happens. It's certainly working for the people at Jet and Personal Financial Planning. So what are some other things that you can do? Some authors, experts, speakers, and professional service providers are revisiting their pricing. Could you possibly invite quantity discounts for bigger clients who can touch more lives with your offering? As I mentioned, I'm the co-founder of Life Goes On Roadmap and it's a system for personal financial planning, a system for personal financial planning organization that could be really helpful to families across the country right now. And so we decided to set up quantity pricing so that we could induce large organizations like banks and credit unions and employee assistance programs to do business with us to share our tools with their employees while they're sheltering in place. Just as soon as we did that, a very big fish reached out and said they wanted to talk seriously about doing business in this way and the conversations are continuing. So when you put your mind toward new ways to price your products to serve even bigger clients, that could have a great outcome. So consider it. Can you offer payment plans so that people can get their feet in the door and start benefiting from your service product or offering now, even though they don't have all the cash right now? Another thing you can do is consider adding more value for the same price that you've been charging all along. Do you have additional digital training that you can add? Additional resources, additional tools, additional interviews, things that you can do to demonstrate that you hear the concerns that are going on in the marketplace and you want to try to bridge the gap as generously and as efficiently as possible so that people can get on with the rest of their lives and work. Consider what's possible and be flexible because adjusting your pricing could be the ticket to helping you re reduce resistance and get more people to jump in and wouldn't that be an, a great outcome. I want you to consider how you can pivot to profit. How can you get your message out in a bigger way and show up that will be remembered long after the current crisis has passed to forever reflect well on your brand, reputation, and business? For example, if you've been around long enough to deal with the Great Recession 
or a tech meltdown or a September 11th crisis, you probably can go back to what you were doing at that time and how you found a way to navigate out of it. Is now a time to revisit some of those same approaches. Another idea is to consider promoting the products of others. If you want to get online quickly, but there's still some work to do so that you're fully functioning, is there a product you've already purchased that you already are a champion and an advocate for that you could endorse to the people in your community who follow your every word? Back uh, when the Great Recession happened, I was scrambling to get my website up, scrambling to figure out how to create a product in a shopping cart, scrambling to learn how to write a sales page, and scrambling to learn how to do a launch. It was all so many things I needed to learn. And I thought, what am I going to do to make money in the meantime? And what I remembered at the time is that I had taken a training to learn how to become a much better public speaker. And within days of having taken the training, I turned it into a, a bonanza of new business for myself with one of the products I was selling at that time. So I reached out to the people who provided the training and I said, I am one of your best customers. I succeeded with your training. I'm wondering if I could help endorse your product so that others can benefit. Can I support you in some way? And it turned out that they were doing a launch to promote their speaker training and they provided me with the marketing copy to share with my community about why I endorse this product. Well, you could have knocked me over with the feather when it turned out that quite a few of the people that were in my social network decided to invest wisely in this training and that turned into over twenty thousand dollars of commissions that came into my mailbox a couple of months later honestly I, I didn't even know the power of this particular strategy until necessity was the mother of invention and i needed to find a way to pivot so if this whole idea of promoting the products of other successful entrepreneurs would be a go-between strategy to help you navigate challenging times. Here again is another YouTube video that you can watch where you can get a deep dive about how to joint venture for good and profit with successful business owners while you get your own online game up and running. It's packed with useful tips, training. It goes very, very deep. And if this is something that resonates for you, it could be a cash bonanza for you, especially as you navigate during the COVID-19 pandemic. One other thing is, could now be the time to search for a new position. So many people's businesses, sadly, may not survive the challenge. They'll need to find new jobs. And where will the new jobs be likely found? On LinkedIn. That is the most robust social network on the planet today where business to business action happens. And so you might be thinking to yourself, maybe now's the time to up my LinkedIn game. And you know what? I have another high value training for you. Just last week, I was fortunate to interview Deborah Mathias, a LinkedIn expert on how to link how to upgrade your LinkedIn profile so that you are showing up as the pro that you are at Hello. And we went deep on step by step with visuals, what to do, how to do it. It's such great training. We just did it just a couple days ago and over a hundred people have watched it already. And so I know that if you want to get your LinkedIn game on and see about creating consulting opportunities or a new job, You've got to have your LinkedIn game on, and this additional training will help you quickly get up to speed so that you can make those connections, create those collaborations, and ideally turn them into cash that will be of service while meeting an urgent need for a marketing problem that's deeply felt right now. Okay. So how can you broadcast your perspectives and expertise while you're sheltering in place? Well, one idea is to issue a press release about something special or different your company is doing during these challenging times that needs a much wider audience. As you probably know, many 
nonprofit organizations have had to cancel their large live fundraising events during hot event season. And that means that they're not being able to raise the money they need to fund their important and worthy good work. I sent out a press release announcing an alliance we forged with a local nonprofit called Dementia Support Northwest. And what, what the promotion is really is that when donors, modest donors who contribute at least $100 to support the education and resources of that Dementia Support Northwest provides to families coping with an Alzheimer's diagnosis, they will be rewarded with an in-kind matching gift of Life Goes On Roadmap Digital System for Personal Financial Information Organization. And in the press release, we elaborate about how we want to create relationships like this with other nonprofits around the country because there's never been a more urgent need to compel modest donors to give. And what if there was a valuable and relevant in-kind matching gift that could be a reward to compel people to step up right now? So that press release went out and it went out over a wire service. And now when you Google Dementia Support Northwest or Life Goes on Roadmap, that message comes up. It reflects favorably upon our brand and reputation. And I have high hopes that new opportunities with nonprofits will soon emerge. I cannot control the outcome that comes back to me, but I can influence what happens by pushing out good information that will be of service and make a difference during this challenging time. Another thing you can do to broadcast your perspectives and expertise is to interview a guest expert. Like I interviewed Deborah Mathias at LinkedIn. I thought to myself, my community may need to get a job very soon because their businesses may not survive. What can I do to help them? So I found a LinkedIn expert. I started a conversation. I asked if she would be willing to do an interview. She graciously accepted. It's been a wonderful collaboration. It's brought her attention, her expertise to the attention of my entire tribe. And you know what? The world is full of good energy and good karma because she's so delighted with the impact she's reached out to say to me what can I do to support you when you can create relationships where you give first and deliver magically for them it just always happens that they come back and say wow that was so generous of you let me see what I can do to support you none of us succeeds alone another thing you can do is get booked and interviewed on a podcast. And this presupposes that you know who your ideal audience is so that you can make the proper selections. If, for example, you help midlife women get their mojo back, you can search for podcasts that address the, the needs of midlife women by simply doing a Google search. You can listen to the podcast to make sure it's a podcast you would be proud to contribute to and then you can see about making a pitch so that you will be selected. What you'll see here on the screen is I've offered an example of a page I created on one of my sites that makes it easy for a host to know that I'm the real deal that they would be proud to have on their show. I showcase what I speak about, what audience members have said about me, I make it easy for them to know my bio, see a photo of me so that they can promote this. If you go to this link, you will see that there's a, an example that you can model and emulate for your own expertise that can make you look like a guest that a podcast host would be happy to have on their program. Getting ready to go to the show before you go is one of the surest fire ways to leapfrog over people who are less ready to have your star rise faster, especially now when you have perspectives and comments to share that can help people navigate what we're dealing with right now. So here again, I'm sharing how you can be a podcast guest. Just to keep it simple and to manage the overwhelm, go to Google and search for the top 10 podcasts that deal with entrepreneurship, the top 10 podcasts that deal with book publishing, the top 10 podcasts for midlife women, the top 10 podcasts for whatever your niche is. Watch the listen to the show. Make sure it's a show you'd be proud to be on. 
if possible, offer a review on, on Apple iTunes to let them know that you love the show because you know what? Hosts always read their reviews, and if they see your name among their reviews, that's going to set the stage for them to want to talk to you because they know you're a listener. One of the biggest mistakes people make is they say things like, I've never been on your show, but you should book me. That is the fastest way to stop a conversation of anything I could possibly suggest. See here and celebrate the guest, the host that you want to collaborate with before you make your pitch. And then when you're lucky enough to be on a show and rock the show and deliver expertise and a call to action that you are proud of, I want you to take the show that is going to be provided as a link somehow and repurpose that show so everyone on social media, everyone who subscribes to your newsletter, everyone that you blog to can have the opportunity to listen or watch as well. Because one good thing always leads to another. And if you're an outstanding guest who delivers sassy sound bites and compelling content that really adds value and serves the audience, someone in the audience is gonna hear that and say, wow, what a great guest. I'd like to have that person on the show. And here's one other ninja tip. After you've done an interview and you know in your gut and your heart and your head that it's been an excellent show, thank the host for the opportunity to contribute and ask him or her, just curious, do you know other podcast guests, other podcast hosts who would find the content we talked about today of value? Might you be willing to offer a name or even make an introduction? If you don't ask, you don't get. But boy, oh boy, when you ask and you get, sometimes a whole new world of opportunity opens up for you that you had no idea how good it could be. So be positive, be of service, and show up like a pro at hello. Marketing really is about solving urgent problems that need answers right now. So I again ask you, how can you be of best service right now and make yourself indispensable so that you will be the one that people call first when the cash is rolling a little bit more generously than it is right now? I lead a Facebook group called the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group, and it's free to join. It simply requires that you answer three questions to let me know that you're a fit for the group. And then you can benefit from training like what it is I'm providing now and other new relationships that you can forge with. We have almost 900 members and I would be honored if you would join us there to see what other value you can gain as you learn to navigate marketing in these COVID-19 times and come out on top to the best of your ability. And another invitation I have is, as I've mentioned, we are the, I am the co-creator of the Life Goes On Roadmap System for Personal Financial Information Organization. If ever there was a time to get your act together before something random or crazy can stop you, it is right now. And so we offer the Get Your Act Together Getting Started template as a free gift to you so you never leave a big mess for your family to clean up later. Within this report, there's a list of the kinds of things you need to take a scavenger hunt to find in your own household for your own family so that if something should happen, someone else in the family will have power access and control to drive life forward until you're able to drive again. And this is a beautiful gift to give to everyone in your family. If ever there was a time to get on the same page about how to run the household, how to pay the bills, how to access the investment accounts, and the importance of updating your beneficiary designations just in case, it would seem that the COVID-19 challenge that we are all facing would be that time. So my name is Nancy Jutton. It's been my pleasure to share with you my suggestions about marketing and promoting your business during COVID-19. If there's more that I can do to support you, reach out to me. My email is nancy at getknowngetpaid.com. And I hope to see you in the Raise Your Voice, Make Your Impact Facebook group. It's free to join and so valuable. And also to have you benefit from the Get Your Act Together Getting Started template. Our finest hour is just ahead if we can just adjust our mindset and come up with new ways to serve that can make a difference now more than ever. 
make yourself indispensable, be of service, rise above, and let's make it happen. I'm Nancy Jetton. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for being here.